Welcome to Curly Cami. I am Camille, and we are about to do my hair. Let's remove my glasses and get started with what I use. Conditioner, hair cream, a brush, oil, and a clip. I remove, remove my hair, get it ready, and I do my little part in the back to prevent tangles from happening. Doesn't really matter how much hair I use as long as it is hidden from the rest of my hair and a good amount. Not too small and not too big, but this was a little big. I aim my conditioner toward the middle and toward the ends and not toward the roots too much. I also add some more water mainly at the ends to get that a bit wet so it can absorb the conditioner better and the curl cream I will be using. And with the amount I use, I really like to start off small because adding too much will weigh down the hair and make it not look as voluminous or bouncy or curly enough or wavy. So I brush through it and I start braiding. When I braid, it is not, I would say, tight. It's more loose toward the roots just so it won't be tugging on my hair. And I do it a little past the halfway mark and then twist the rest as a finger coil. Then I am doing a, another section horizontally again and I split that and separate it. Clip my hair up again and split both into two parts. Use my conditioner and put it on both sides. Not too much. It all depends how much I use and how big of a section there is. If there's too much on one side, I will go on to the other and then proceed to use the curl cream and aim that mainly at the ends. So now I am raking my hair through and getting horizontal sections of that part and brushing it through, finding the curl from the ends and letting it be. I continue doing this, making horizontal sections from this part and brushing it through and letting it rest in the back. I learned this technique from Mains by Mel and trying to brush my hair upwards toward the sky, making sure I am letting the curls be free or waves to have space and take up space and not just make them go one way. Now this part is the same thing, horizontal part putting it in two parts, adding some water. Please subscribe and like this video. And from that, I am making a mistake right here. I added some hair already done into one of the sections because one is larger. And I'm doing it all over again because I don't know what's been done and what hasn't been done. So I contribute the same routine of conditioner leaving uh, curl cream and the whole horizontal brush upwards find the curl oh made a knot this is like Cinderella when you have a knot you find a little knot in your hair you do not panic you do not brush vigorously you take that knot you grab some conditioner and you use it to separate the curl because conditioner or anything that's helpful to separate those curls. Now with this, I am making 
it one part, not into two parts, and adding the whole curl lean cream and the conditioner in and brushing it. Once I detangled in a way, I make sections and find my curl. Once I've found my curl, I then brush it backwards like I will right now and continue doing that brushing backwards or making little tiny parts but not prominent two parts and brushing it backwards it's not even or symmetrical I make another part and I should have kept this as one part but it was a big, su big section and I made two so I do the same thing conditioner curl cream and water if necessary toward the ends because they'll dry faster than the rest of my hair and I do the whole horizontal thing and put it toward the back for the finishing product I would not say this is probably my winter routine at the moment mainly because I was struggling during the winter cold weather here in Arizona so it was a bit daunting of not finding the right formula or products that would really emphasize what my curls have and are capable of doing and the transition was a bit frustrating and all I wanted to do was just do finger coiling and let that be, but that takes forever. So with this section, I am putting it in three parts and doing the middle like I did with the other section and brushing it back, finding the curl and then brushing it back. And then I move on to my favorite part. No, oh, it's getting hot. I move on to my favorite part. Happy New Year. And this is what I do. Brush, 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 brush. Finger brushing. This in the front is my challenge and my frustration, mainly because I do not know how to maintain the frizz. Brushing, like what I'm doing now, does not help. Um, I mean, yes, it does define some of the curls, but the curls that are not defining, they're mainly frizzy. The curl is there, but it's a frizzed up mess. And as you can see, you can see the frizz and my frustration. Now I remove my hair from my brush and leave this. Here's my finishing product. I will air dry this for 30 minutes, as long as it took to do this. And from that, I shouldn't be doing this, but I did, finding the frizzy strand in the front. Just let that be. And hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Grab my argon oil, one milliliter of it, and scrunch it at the ends I want to be gentle with the ends because it's still wet but I also want to make sure that I'm also protecting my hair from the heat I will be using with my blow dryer so I started with circle circle motions but I went back to up and down motions because I do not want to further frizz up any curls that would be blown from the heat so doing upward motions getting my little braid curl to work well to dry and then continue up and down with the rest of my hair and then do around my hairline and the inside of it let that dry and then go in the outside again and continue making sure it's not too crazy like it has been right now but brush it evenly as much as possible I know I am cre creating frizz but I'm really concerned about 
the dry, making my hair dry before I go to bed. So, once I am done drying my hair and looking cuckoo, here's a little bit. It's not completely dry, it's probably maybe 80% dry because some sections in the front are still cold or wet not too wet to the point of I need to blow dry it more but I know it's gonna dry in my little pillowcase that I am um, I use before I go to bed put it around my ears and the leftover pillowcase in the front of my face I just twist as if I am twisting it like a t-shirt or towel and then from that, I take this $2 hair wrap I got from Ross and use that to secure the pillowcase. I look look funny, but it does work. Secure it behind my head and then tie it around the hair, but not too tight and not too loose because it will loosen up while I sleep. So it's bedtime. Good night. And it's morning time. I'm ready. Look at these curls. You can totally tell where I sectioned off. To me, I can tell where I've sectioned off. You can see that. I gotta change up my routine. And my little braid in the back, you can barely tell when my hair is down where that is unless you look for it. Now I'm gonna style my hair, making a little tiny part that's not so prominent. Really don't care how it is i just want the curls to just lay the way they want in a way but do what i want them my little frizzy will be underneath the perfect curls and go about my day with that maybe play with a mirror and touch and go touch my curls see what looks nice try to hide that frizz and yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and embrace some joy.